Hi, boys and girls. We are back with another digital citizenship lesson on how to be internet awesome. Today, we're going to focus on being internet alert so you don't fall for scams or something called phishing. All right, let's get started. Our activity goals today are to learn techniques people use to steal identities so that we can know how to avoid that, review ways to prevent identity theft, know to talk to a trusted adult if you think they're a victim of identity theft, recognize the signs of phishing attempts, be careful about how and with whom to share personal information. All right. So what is phishing anyways? Phishing is when someone tries to steal information like your login or account details by pretending to be someone you trust in an email, text, or other online communication. Phishing emails and the unsafe sites that try to send you attachments or things for you to open can also put viruses on your computer. Some viruses use your contact list to target your friends and families with the same or more personalized phishing attack. Other types of scams might try to trick you into downloading malware or unwanted software by telling you that there's something wrong with your device. Remember, a website or ad can't tell if there's anything wrong with your machine. Some phishing attacks are obviously fake. Others can be sneaky and really convincing though. Like when a scammer sends you a message that includes some of your personal information. That's called spear phishing. And it can be very difficult to spot because using your information can make it seem like they know you. Before you click on a link or enter your password in a site you haven't been to, to before, it's a good idea to ask yourself some questions about that email or website. Here are some questions you could ask. Does it look professional like other websites you know and trust with the products or company's usual logo and with text that is free of spelling errors? Does the site's URL match the products or company's name and information you're looking for? Are there misspellings? Are there any spammy pop-ups that keep coming? Does the URL with, uh, start with HTTPS colon slash slash with a little green padlock to the left of it? If it does, that means the connection is secure. What's in the fine print? There's often sneaky things written in this fine print and the below. They are trusting that you're not going to look, read through all of that. Is the email or site offering something that sounds too, be, too good to be true, like a chance to win a lot of money? It's almost always too good to be true. Here's a summary of some of the things that we had talked about. Does it include indicators of a tr trustworthy site? To check the URL. If you're getting a, an email, you might even want to check the end of the address. What does it end with? Is it .com, .gov, .org? Those different endings can tell you a lot about the sender. Does a site's URL match the name and title you're looking for? What is, what do, is in the fine print? And are there any pop-ups? If you do fall for a scam, what should you do? First, tell your parent, teacher, or other trusted adult right away. The longer you wait, the worse things could get. Two, change your password for online accounts. Three, if you do fall for a phishing attempt or scam, let any friends who might be targeted as a result know. Give them the heads up. Four, use settings to report the message as spam if possible. And yes, you might want to do all of the above. Here are our takeaways. 
When you're online, always be on the lookout for phishing attacks in your emails, texts, and posted messages. If you do get fooled, make sure you tell an adult that you trust right away. All right, boys and girls, don't forget to be internet alert. Bye for now.